oligo hydroamnios today we will be discussing about amniotic fluid and if its level goes down then the condition which develops that is oligo hydroamnios so first of all we will be discussing about that what is amniotic fluid baby is surrounded by a liquor a fluid which is called as amniotic fluid in the uterus of the mother basically in the womb of the mother the baby is located in a sac like structure which is an amniotic sac inside which a fluid is there which we call as amniotic fluid so how is this amniotic fluid formed this amniotic fluid is basically formed from the mother from the liquid coming from the mother and also from the baby's urine it contains nutrients antibodies uh, for the growth and development of the baby this amniotic fluid is a very very important thing it has a lot many roles to play it works as a shock absorber for the baby it maintains an ideal temperature for the baby it acts like a swimming pool for the baby where the baby can play around and move around so it is important in the development of bone and muscles of the baby it also play important role in the development of the digestive system of the baby because the baby swallows uh, this uh, uh, amniotic fluid and also uh, urinates the same so the digestive system development is also to some extent dependent upon the amniotic fluid it also helps in uh, lung maturity of the baby since it contains antibodies uh, so it gives the protection also to the baby it uh, prevents the cord from getting compressed the umbilical cord is not compressed because of this uh, amniotic fluid so amniotic fluid uh, play very very important role it is also helpful in lubrication in easy movements of the baby right so this is very very important thing how we know about its level that amniotic fluid is optimum or it is decreased it is very easy to know by doing an ultrasound or sonography in the sonography basically we calculate afi afi is amniotic fluid index if afi is less than 5 we call it as oligohydramnios if it is more than 10 then it is normal if it is between 5 to 10 then it is borderline decreased we can also know about oligohydramnios by ultrasound by seeing single largest deepest pocket which should be more than 2 cm if it is less than 2 cm then again we say that oligohydramnios is there so why this oligohydramnios or decreased levels of amniotic fluid develops there are lot many reasons behind it the most common reasons are some chromosomal abnormality of the baby itself some birth defects in the baby like uh, kidney related problems of the baby maybe a case of renal agenesis or polycystic kidney or it may be a case of posterior urethral wall which is giving rise to obstruction in the urinary tract of the baby it may be because of some maternal conditions like uh, diabetes in the mother pregnancy induced hypertension that means high blood pressure in the mother it may be a case of obesity it may be because of placental abnormalities that means there is some problem in the placenta the uh, it's uh, not allowing the nutrients properly to flow it may be a case uh, of uh, obesity in the mother and oligohydramnios uh, may also develop uh, because of uh, multiple pregnancy it is case of not a single pregnancy but it is a case of multiple twin not triplet pregnancy then the possibility of oligohydramnios is more uh, out of all pregnancies almost 4 to 5% of the females land up in oligohydramnios that is low levels of amniotic fluid so now if someone is having low level of amniotic fluid then what are the complications which may arise in the pregnancy the complications which may develop are definitely if the liquor is come uh, is less the baby cannot move properly cannot move around easily if the amount of liquor is on the lesser side uh, then the contractures uh, in the baby may develop that means uh, there may be uh, because of less mobility the contractures between joints may develop in the case of baby the baby growth may get retarded there may be growth retardation in the baby the heart rate of the baby may get irregular because of it we may also get some cases of stillbirth uh, because of oligohydramnios premature delivery increased possibility of uh, cesarean all these may develop because of oligohydramnios due to oligohydramnios the cord also may get compressed 
so and the lung system uh, the lungs also do not get properly mature so these are the basic problems basic complications which may appear because of oligohydramnios now what to we do or we can do to treat us definitely we ask the patient to improve the hydration drink lot many fluids more and more liquids maybe just water coconut water lemon water some juice soups all of these going to play important role we sometimes give iv fluids as well uh, just plain uh, rl and ns and maybe amino plasma infusions also they also play important role if we find some underlying factor we try to treat it like if we find that uh, there is a high blood pressure in the mother or the sugar levels are high then definitely we try to correct them out and sometimes uh, because of oligohydramnios we may need to deliver the baby early if the oligohydramnios is significant and the uh, possibility of doing cesarean also increases in the cases of oligohydramnios if it is significant if you have any more queries regarding this you can write us down in the comment box section and can subscribe the channel thank you